Hey what's up, this is Aperol Spritz here. It's time for some budget techware stuff, and I've mentioned Taobao brands in a few videos now, but never really spoken about exactly what those are, what they're called, how you might go about finding or purchasing them. These kinds of brands might be lacking in the garment quality or the material performance aspect of techware, but aesthetically it's clear that they're chasing that very classic Tech Ninja style that you will have seen in previous videos and on Instagram of course if you're looking out for techware stuff. But it's time to explore these brands a little bit more and that's going to help you with exactly what you're looking for on Taobao and some of those standout pieces from these different brands and the slightly different directions that they take, even though they are all pretty similar and pretty similarly priced as well. I'll also talk a bit about ways of getting hold of this stuff, either directly through Taobao or otherwise. It is a Chinese site, so it can be a bit impenetrable to Westerners. I've got to admit, I've not picked anything up directly from Taobao or from any of these brands before, although if that's something that you want to see, you want to see some kind of like Taobao techware haul type video, then I can certainly put something like that together. Anyway, if you're thinking about getting into the techware aesthetic, but you don't want to invest in those bigger brands, you just want to kind of test the water a little bit, maybe you're not as fussed about the performance aspect, or that's something you want to buy into a little bit later, then these brands are really the best starting points or the keywords that you should be looking for. Anyways, let's start off with number one. The first brand here is Pupil Travel, which in my mind is one of the most established and one of the most known of these Taobao techwear brands. This is headed up by a guy called Sam He, which if you take a look at his Instagram, is somewhat of an Errolson Hue enthusiast. You can search for these guys on Taobao, they do have their own store page as well, and that's got a few larger sized images as well as some product pictures. Although the images seem not to be of amazing quality, they do still give some kind of indication of what everything looks like together in some more cohesive outfits. You'll also find pictures of quite a few of the releases on Sammy's Instagram as well. All of this stuff is very clearly designed to be worn as a counterpart to acronym stuff and alongside acronym. You'll notice that in almost all of these product shots, there are Nike acronym shoes involved, for example. In some cases as well, the products are very similar to those produced by other techwear brands. For example, the, the PTK813 really is dangerously similar to acronyms P25 although coming in at something like one-tenth of the price. Some of the pieces here are a little bit silly looking in my opinion. They go too far into that it's techwear so everything has to have pockets and zips on it kind of thing. But there are some solid things here as well, mostly for me in the pants and in the accessories department. There's this holster vest combo from them for example which looks fairly on trend and pretty solid. For pricing, you're looking around £40, $60 for a pair of pants and it scales up and down accordingly. So I think there was a jacket that was around $110. That's before you take into account things like shipping and any potential um, agency fees, forwarding fees for ordering from Taobao. But this is a pretty similar price point to all of the brands in this video. So in terms of price, it really is significantly cheaper than a lot of those more mainstream, more established techwear brands. Let's move on to the second brand now, which is in Shadower. This is another pretty big one, and it's the first one that I ever came across quite a while back now. I also found out doing research for this video that not only do they have their own website, so you don't have to go through Taobao at all, but that website carries one or two other Chinese techwear brands, Pupil Travel being one of them. They have another couple of brands on there too, one of which I'll talk about next. So this is a little mini Chinese techwear marketplace, which is pretty cool. However, like Taobao, it is mostly in Chinese, even if you switch the language to English, so it can be a little bit difficult to navigate. Although the fact that they list pricing in US dollars, pounds, euros, etc., makes me think that they do ship internationally. Anyway, it's worth knowing in case you are able to figure it out and get an order through. Design-wise, in Shadow seems a little bit more consistent than Pupil Travel does. Their most recent AW18 drop is very black heavy, obviously, and consists almost entirely of not too offensive, classic techwear looking pieces. It's all stuff that's gonna blend pretty nicely with a techwear wardrobe. Nothing really does anything too crazy or is gonna look too weird or out of place. I'd say most of this stuff is pretty wearable. They even have a pair of shoes, which is pretty rare for these brands. And although it's not a copy or a rip off or anything, it's so obviously a mashup between a Converse and an acronym Lunar Force One that they come across a little bit corny looking, a bit like a design project 
project or a mock-up or something. I mean, points for doing it and releasing these, but they didn't have to lean quite so heavily on acronym for inspiration for a techwear shoe. I thought one of the shirts was quite cool with this mismatched graphic print, although it does have in shadow written across it as well, which is not really to my taste. And it looks like the print itself is not of an amazing quality. Although in its defense, I think this came out at about 30 pounds, $42, something like this. So there's a limit to how much you can expect from that. But some of these product pictures and some of the lookbook pictures as well, I think make this stuff look about as good as you can expect from this lower priced Chinese techwear stuff. The pants and the windbreaker from the product pics look like a nice little combo for getting a basic techwear look down. Of course, it's worth remembering that the performance aspect is not likely to be there. This is probably some DWR treated polyester or something. So it's not gonna be as waterproof or as durable as those more well-known techwear brands. Although from a pure aesthetic value standpoint, this seems better than a lot of the cheap techwear brands that are out there. Um, it's not that unique, but it's also not a knockoff and it's also not too offensive or stupid looking. Crotter is another brand which shows up on the In Shadower store and these guys specifically seem to be known for one pair of very strap heavy cargo pants. I've seen them specifically pop up a few times on Instagram outfits but they do do quite a few other things as well. Unfortunately though a lot of it is either very derivative or straight up ripping off other brands. There's uh, things that are very suspicious similar to Gorilla Group grid tanks. There's stuff with the Yeezy Calabasas font, which is not really anything to do with techwear at all. And they have a jacket bag combo in some of their product pictures, which basically looks like a knockoff version of Acronym's Interops functionality. So in general, not that strong, although I wanted to mention them because of the pants specifically. I think it's called the CR72, something like that. I'll put the exact product name in the description and how to find those as well. The fourth one that I want to mention here is No Suckism. No Suckism. I'm just going to call them No Suck. You're probably noticing a pattern here and it's clear that these guys are taking the same sorts of design cues as the other three brands in this video. Although to these guys credit, it looks like they're using a few more interesting silhouettes as well. There's some more wider um, cropped pants as well. There's some nice flowy looking naragis, which the other brands don't really seem to do. And they have a couple of long line vests as well, which mercifully, unlike the other brands, don't have a grid pattern on the bottom. And in general, it feels like with No Suck, the focus is more on those silhouettes rather than the adding pockets and straps to stuff to make it tech wear, um, that pitfall that the other brands to various extents do fall into. I wouldn't quite say that gives them their own identity because they are still doing a lot of things very similarly to these other brands, but it feels like there's a few more products from No Suck that you have to get from them and you can't really get from the other three. Again, prices are pretty similar here. You're looking at around $55 for a pair of pants and it goes up to around $110 for one of the jackets. So those for me are the main four brands that are worth looking at. There are others out there, of course, but for a starter pack, for a first look into this kind of area, these four, I think, are going to give you a pretty broad range of potential tech ninja gear that you could pick up. I'll very quickly go over the different ways of ordering this stuff. Now, there's four main ways. One, of course, you can use the official In Shadower site that I mentioned a little bit earlier in this video. Number two, you can go directly through Taobao. There is a way of getting international shipping in some countries. US is one of them. Unfortunately, not for us Euro boys though. There are quite a few steps involved here. You basically have to order it and then go through another process to make sure that that is shipped out of China somewhere else. But I'll put a full guide to that down in the description. So if you want to go that route, then have a read through that and make sure you know what you're doing. The third option is you can use a Taobao proxy service. These guys will basically receive everything you order for you and then they will forward it out of China to pretty much wherever you like. And this service is gonna be something that works all across the world. It is a little bit more expensive. You'll normally have to pay some kind of service fee to allow them to do that for you, but they do also make it a little bit easier. So even if you're in the US, you could consider using that because it seems like it's gonna be quicker than trying to order direct and using that international shipping method. There's quite a few websites which will do this. The one that I've heard recommended most frequently is Superbuy. So I'll put a link for that down in the description. But if you've got any alternatives or you've used anyone else with success, then do let me know in the comments. And option number four, which is arguably the easiest, although the most expensive, is to use one of the Taobao reseller websites, 
which exist. Aesthetic homage is one of those which I mentioned in a video a while back. There's one called I Am Nocturnal, which someone mentioned in the comments a few weeks ago as well. The downside though is that while this is easy, they put a pretty big markup on this stuff. So you're buying this cheap Chinese techware, which is probably not of a great quality, but it ends up not saving you that much money compared to buying those more premium or more established brands. You can very easily pay like nearly $200 for a Taobao jacket. And by that point, I feel you might as well go for one of those mid-tier brands, someone like Riot Division, or just saving up that little bit more and going for one of the more premium brands, maybe getting something used, save yourself a bit of cash, but then you know you're getting something of a decent quality, whereas this Taobao stuff is a relative unknown. So hopefully that serves as a useful introduction to some of these Taobao brands and how you might go about picking them up. Because I know a lot of people have been after a bit of info about these guys. You may be not really sure of what to do or who these brands are, but let me know what you think of these brands. Are these a cool, cheap kind of gateway into techwear or do you feel like they're not really worth bothering with and instead you should save up your money and get something which is going to have the performance as well as the techwear aesthetic either way let me know down there in the comments i'll be looking through all of them for sure and if you enjoyed the video please do give it a like and of course i'll be back next week with another video so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you then Shout out to Magnus who helped arrange this really cool video that you put up recently about five guys with five very different styles, one of whom is me. So if you want to see that video, I'll put a link to it down in the description. Shout out to Lewis and Freddie and Sanj who are also in the video and to Nathan as well who did the videography and editing. Um, overall, I think it's a super cool video um, and it's really interesting to see those different perspectives from everyone. So yeah, if you've got time, go check that out. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this one, you want to catch some more, I'll be putting links up there. Um, one of them I'll make sure is that um, video on Magnus's channel so you can check that one out. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, then definitely consider doing so. There'll be a button on the side there as well.